Um, right, we should have on the line now, all the way from Norfolk, I can't, I can barely believe I'm saying this, Mr. Daniel Evans. Daniel, are you there? I am. Hello, George. Daniel Evans is here. Yes, Evans. How are we doing? Yeah, not bad, not bad. How are you? Yeah, really good, mate. I'm just going to play everybody just a quick blast from your uh, from one of your shows, just so they know what you're all about. OK, here we go. Here's yeah. Daniel in action. It's exactly 30 days from today that I leave to go to Alaska, Canada and the western parts of the USA. And I can't wait. It's going to be absolutely great. But at the same time, I'll be sad to leave Norfolk. It's been my home county for the last 18 years. I was brought up here. I went to school and college here. It was here that I got my very first buzz for broadcasting, and it was Norfolk that sparked some of my passion for geography. You're born uh, 20 years or so ago, is that right, Daniel, in Norfolk? That's it, 1993. Right, okay. There's a little uh, place called Gorston in Norfolk. Okay, and are you are you from a long line of Norfolk folk? Uh, well, my mum, uh, mum's part of the family is. Uh, my dad's side comes from West Sussex, but uh, no, I'm the most I think Norfolk lad. Right. Okay. Family. And so, and and when did you first realise you had this incredible connection with with nature and with Norfolk? Oh, I think from the very start, from word go, really. I was brought up surrounded by the countryside, around fields and and the broads. And uh, that kind of sparked my interest. As a little boy, and you know, I kind of grew up through, through my uh, childhood to teenage years, um, I got uh, more more in love with the area. It's a, it's a lovely, natural beauty, beauteous area. Right, and then that's led to you now, you, you study geography at university? That's yeah, it, physical geography at the uh, Royal Holloway here in London. How's that going? Yeah, it's going good. It's third year, it's flying past. Top of the class? Um, pardon? Top of the class? Um, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um, but um, no, I do my best. Um, OK, so then let's talk about your broadcast career, Daniel. You've been making these videos. You put them up on, on YouTube, right? How regularly do you make those videos? Whenever I get a chance, must admit, George. I, um, I do have um, kind of the, the, the mission to put out a series once every, uh, once every year. So I try to do at least one series a year, perhaps more than that. But there's, there's no way you could do... I mean, it's 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 very well produced. So who, you've got a team, and, and like, who, who's working with you on these kind of things? I'm afraid it's a it's a one man band. Stop it! No. Uh, I want to talk to you about the Norfolk Broads quickly. Just before, obviously, we've been talking about uh, we've been talking about the Thames today. Um, so uh, talk to me briefly about the Norfolk Broads. Oh, what do you want to know? There's so many things to, to give me say, the top think... five things on the Norfolk Broads. Top five things. Well, it's. You know, a la it's a landscape where you're going to find no other landscape in the country. Mm. You know, it's only about a tenth of the UK, but it's got you know, rare wildlife. Um, it's got lovely waterways to um, to boat on. Lots and lots of different types of, um, of of birds to see. You know, lots of family fun. It's a real kind of um, you know comprehensive place. You can you can do all sorts there. Am I right in saying it's man-made? Yeah, it's man-made. It's um, the origin, really, was when it was uh, dug for peat uh, to provide fuel for the medieval times. But um, uh, during the centuries, that's been filled in. We've now got uh, rivers that run into it, and it's all kind of filled up with water. Um, well, listen, it's been a real pleasure talking to you, Daniel. If people want to find out more about your videos, where should they go? Definitely. Type in TV Jog yeah. um, into YouTube, or uh, my webpage is geographywithdan.blogspot.co.uk. And am I right? Are you still doing a radio show as well? I used to. I mean, I, I loved doing a radio show um, for the. Um, well, we called it Bandana. Lots of great bands. Lots of great band. That kind of ran for about eight months, like a couple that. of years ago. Yeah. Um, but if I get back into that, uh, you'd be the first to know. Well, what? listen. If you do, genuinely, we want, we want to hear from you because we we think there's there's legs in that for sure. Brilliant. No, great. Uh, Daniel, will you come on the show again in the future sometime? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Perfect, mate. All right. What a pleasure. Give him a big round of applause, Daniel Evans. Everybody. Lovely young man, smashed it.